Today, we're gonna take these pieces of wood and turn them all into wands from the Harry Potter films. That's right, I'm gonna take pieces of wood like this and turn them all in the lathe to Harry Potter wands. So to make this a little bit more complicated, we're gonna take all types of wood. So we got really cheap wood, like this piece of two by four, all the way up to this really nice piece of walnut with a black epoxy inlaid on it. This piece of wood is actually from one of our previous videos where we made an epoxy table for my buddy. And now we're just taking a piece of the scrap and we're gonna turn it into a really nice wand. We've also got other pieces of wood, like this piece of maple that came from a tree in my backyard, this piece of pine from the local hardware store, and this really nice piece of exotic wood. Check it out. Now we're gonna be making everything on this machine, which is called a lathe. All this really means is we can attach a piece of wood to it. It'll actually rotate the wood and we can chuck away pieces around the wood until it becomes into the shape that we want it to be. Essentially, we want each of these pieces of wood to be about 14 inches long. The beginning steps are kind of all the same. We want them all to become more of a dowel. So I'm gonna put them all in the lathe and get them all to a dowel shape before we get started. So this is probably the sketchiest of all the ones we're gonna be making. This is a two by four, and we really don't know what's going on in here. There could be a whole bunch of cracks and defects that make this just splint and fracture as we start to turn it. So this is gonna be a really interesting one. Let's get it on the lathe and see how it goes. That's actually pretty promising. The inside looks pretty nice. So let's see if it holds through. Now that we've gotten started, let me take a moment to explain a big part of why I'm making these wands. So HBO just released a special for Harry Potter returning to Hogwarts for its 20th year anniversary. And not only is this a tribute to how much I love the Harry Potter books and films, but it's also a tribute to all of the great actors that unfortunately have passed away since the film, including Ollivander. Ollivander owns a store where they actually get all of the Harry Potter wands, so I thought, well, why don't we make our own Harry Potter wand and see if we can make Ollivander proud. So I actually have printouts with this one that's Harry Potter's one from the film. These two, which is Dumbledore's and Snape's above it. And we're gonna use these to help us actually create the exact replica of the wands from the movie. So all I'm doing now is penciling in guidelines for where I'm gonna draw curves so I don't go over that and make it too thin where I can't do that anymore. And before we check out the next wood, let me show you a sneak peek of how the designs of these wands are gonna come out. Can you guess whose wand this will be? We'll come back to this one, but let's check out the next piece of wood, which actually ended up giving me the most amount of trouble. So for pieces like this, since it's a piece of scrap wood and it's way longer than we need, I'm actually gonna cut it down on the chops out of 14 inches first so that we can actually put it on the lathe and then get going from there. Now you can actually notice there's kind of a crack on this end, so I'm gonna wanna work on this kind of thicker edge here that hopefully has a little bit more structure to it, um, but we'll find out as we go. Now to get this onto the lathe, essentially we want to mark the center of both ends and hook that up to the machine. So we're gonna take a straight edge and just mark across both ends here. There's the second end. Now we got both centers. And now we're just going to attach both ends to the center of the machine. So the epoxy in the wood isn't holding up too well to a lathe. So I'm actually gonna help it out by smoothing out all the corners 
Um, that way it shouldn't chip off as much. And we're gonna see if that works out well. So the ones keep breaking that have the end grain that's not going along the piece of wood and that's going perpendicular. And that's kind of expected. That's where the strength is, so it keeps snapping. Uh, it's a shame this would have looked really nice with the epoxy, but but we've got a lot of these failures and it's just, just not working out. Okay, good news. Now, because that one failed, I went around my shop and I found this, this like sweet marbled maple, I think. And we're gonna turn this one into a wand. There's some holes, there's some defects. Hopefully this one will work out. The end grain is running the right direction. So we're gonna give it a try. Since this is one of the nicer woods, I'm gonna make this one Dumbledore's wand, which is also the Elder Wand. And what better way to honor the most powerful wand and one of the Deathly Hallows other than using a nice piece of wood from a tree in my backyard. This was probably one of the more fun ones to make because I got to actually create different shapes and spheres across the length of the wand. Now, let's jump back to the one we started off with and finish off the details. And this one belongs to Harry Potter. All right, we've turned the last one. This is gonna be Professor Snape's wand. Now that they're all turned, it's time to cut off the ends and then do the shaping and final details. It's pretty amazing. This was a piece of two by four wood and now it looks like this. It's pretty cool. Let's get to the details. This is a handheld rotary tool. This is gonna to allow me to add a lot of details to the wands right now. That took a really long time just to do some small details that Harry Potter's wand. So I'm really nervous about getting done all of the other wands, especially the Elder Wand, which has a lot more detail to it. But we love Professor McGonagall's wand. It actually doesn't need any more detail. This is the exact wand from the movie. So thanks, Professor McGonagall. Okay, that took a lot of time, but all the detail is finished on the wands, and now we're on the last step. We're just gonna add a nice finish, and it'll really make these pop out. And then we're all done. Thanks again for watching, and 